Dear students, welcome to you all in mathematics class again. Today we are going to uh, learn some arithmetic. Uh, in arithmetic class, today we are going to discuss about rational and irrational numbers, which is uh, a topic of chapter 1. To today we are going to discuss about uh, finding square root of a decimal fraction and determination of square root in some approximate value or up, uh, up to up some approximate value. Uh, so, for example, we are going to take a number 12.6736 and we have to determine the square root of this number. To solve this uh, problem, uh, we have to write down this number in uh, uh, our copy like 12.6736 and put uh, a bar at the left side of the decimal point like uh, bar on 12 and also we will put a bar on 67 and then 36. Now we will put a line in the right side on the right side of the number. Now we can uh, we do know that 3 into 3 equal to 9 and 4 into 4 equal to six, uh, 16. So we will take 3 so that we get 3 into 3 equal to 9 and put this 9 here. And now we will uh, put another line, straight line under, under uh, the 9 and we will put this line here and we will subtract 9 from the uh, given number that is 12.6736 and we will get uh, subtracting 12, uh, 9 from 12 we will get 3 and 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So we will put a 6 here and that is uh, these 3 is multiplied by 2 and then uh, we have got 6 we, put a, we have to put a 6 here. Now uh, we will have 67, this 67, we will write this 67 here and then we will get 367. Now we have to put a number here so that multiplying uh, with the number we get uh, a number which is near to 367. Like this, if uh, we take 65, if we take, if we take 5 here, then we will get 65 and multiplying 5 by this 65 we will get 325 which is the nearest number uh, of 367 uh, we get in such way. And we have to put six, uh, 5 here and as uh, this 67 is uh, at the right side of the decimal point we have to put a decimal point here that is 3.5 and multiplying 0.5 with 67, 65 we will get 3.25 uh, that is 325 here. We do not have to mention the decimal point here. Now uh, subtracting 367, uh, 325 with 367 we will get 42 here and then we will get uh, 35 that is 3.5 uh, we will take 35 only 35 with, is multiplied with 2 we will get 70 we will put 70 at the left side here and then we will uh, pick this 36 and write it down it here and then we have to uh, choose a number at the right side of 70 such that multiplying with this number we get some value near to 4 4236. So, we if we take 6 as this number, then uh, 706 into 6 that is 706 into 6 we will get 4236 here, and then uh, subtracting this we will get 0. So, the solution will be 3.56. Or, uh, as the square root of 
So square root of 12.6736 equal to 3.56. Now uh, you have a CW to do that is uh, you have to determine the square root of 5.0176. Now determination of square root in approximate value. Uh, as an example we have taken a uh, number 3 up we have to find out the square root of 3 up to 3 decimal points. As we have to uh, find out the square root up to 3 decimal points we have taken uh, 3 pairs of zeros after the decimal point. So if you have to uh, find out square root up to 5 decimal point then uh, you have to take 10 zeros uh, after or 10 digits after the decimal points. So uh, it will be double uh, of the expected digits at the square root. So as we do not know, uh, we do not have a pair of digits at the left side of uh, the decimal point. So we will take only 3 as the pair that is 0, 3 as the pair and uh, we will pair up uh, zeros at the right side of the decimal point and then if you put 1 here 1 1 is a 1 we will get 2 and then double of 1 is 2 double of this 1 is 2 so we have put a 2 here and now you have to uh, take this pair of zeros down to here. So, you will write 0 here, double 0 here. Now, you have to find out some uh, number which is 7. If we multiply 27 by 7, then you will get 189. If you multiply this 27 with this 7, you will get 189. And then uh, subtracting this you will get uh, 11 and you have to uh, put double of this 17 double of 17 at the uh, left side of this structure and then you have to pick down these zeros to at the right side of 11 so we will write a pair of zeros here and then we have to find out a number such that uh, we have uh, found 3 here so that multiplying 343 with 3 we will get 1029 this 3 and this 343 both multiplied and 1029 here we will subtract 10, uh, 1029 here and we will get 71 we can put another 0 here and as uh, double of 173 is 346 we have already written 346 here and if you put 2 here double and doubling this that is 2 into 3462 you will get 6924 6924 subtracting this you will get 176 so we have got three decimal points here so this is the approximate square root up to three decimal points of three so we can write root three equal to 1.732 up to three decimal point when you are told find the decimal point up to three decimal point you have to go like this now uh, another uh, similar type problem is determine the approximate value of 9.253 up to 3 decimal points. So when you are told to approximate value, find out the approximate value and then you have to take it like this. Uh, you have to take 9 first then you have to write down uh, these digits after the decimal point in uh, pair, uh, pair wise that is 25 then 30 then double zero then 
another double zero. You have told to find out the approximate value up to three decimal point. So you have to take two more than the double of this expected value. That is three decimal points. You have to take three to the six and another more pair that is six plus two eight pairs. Now you have to pair up these digits and you have to go accordingly. We have gone previous way. So as 25 is uh, the first uh, pair we have got here uh, after decimal point. So for this digit we have to put a decimal point here. So uh, 6 0 that is 0 3.0 now we will get 0 here subtracting you will get 25 30 will be here and then 60 as double of 30 is 60 we have written 60 here and we have to put 4 here and multiplying 604 with 4 we will get 2416 subtracting this we will get 114 we will get another 0 here and double of 304 304 is 608 so we have put 608 here now we will have to put 1 here because multiplying 6081 6, by 1 we will get 6081 subtracting this we will get 5319 now if you put 0 here we will get 6000 uh, now uh, 6041 double of 6041 is 6, uh, 3041 double of 3041 is 6082 you have to find another number here so that multiplying with this number you will get a number near to 531900 so we will find 8 here and 8, 8, 8 into 60,828 you will get 48,000 4,86,624 then subtract, subtracting this value you will get 445,276 uh, so you have got 4 values after the decimal point as this uh, last value is greater than 4 you have to eliminate this 8 and put uh, and put 2 instead of 1 here that is here you have 1 but approximately you will get a 1 plus 1 that is 2 and you have eliminated this 8 if this uh, there were uh, 2 here instead of 8 you would have write 300, uh, 3 point 041 but we have 3.0418 and the last number is greater than 4 if last term is greater than 4 then you have to put uh, you have to add 1 with the third digit as the approximate value this is the rule to find out the approximate value so your CW is find the square root of 1.48 up to 3 decimal points uh, approximate value of course and uh, this was today's class thank you I hope you have enjoyed and you will try your CW and HW at home and also you will find the solution to your assignments thank you.